Hey guys, my name is Ben and today I want to show you how to take out and install a new GE auger in the newer style GE washing machine. Now, maybe you need a new auger or you just need to remove the old one out from the machine because you need to get underneath to replace a hub or something underneath. And the thing with GE washers is you cannot get in here to remove the 7 16th transmission bolt unless you take this whole auger out. And this is a real pain to deal with. Haven't seen any videos showing you how to do this. This is a brand new auger that I purchased from Appliance Parts Pros, which is the, the issue that we're having with this machine. And now that I have a brand new auger here, it's really easy to explain how to take it out. On the auger, in the machine, as well as right in front of me, there is a hole at the very bottom of the auger that we need to locate. It's right here. Now, again, with this auger being out, you need to line this hole up with, I guess, what's called a nipple or a dot or something similar. And if you look into this, hopefully the camera is showing it, this will line up a very specific part in the agitator that will let you take it out. But in order to do it, you have to take a screwdriver, I'm using the Phillips head, and then jam it in really hard to press into it and lock the system so that instead of the unit turning um, clockwise, you can actually move it counterclockwise and pull the unit apart to expose what you need to to get the agitator off. So hopefully that explains it. Line it up, screwdriver, jam it in, and then you should be able to turn it counterclockwise and pull the whole assembly out. So with that being explained, we're gonna go ahead and open the machine up and do this for real. And hopefully do it the right way. To get this old agitator out, I had to use my hands to feel around for the small nipple on the bottom of the agitator housing and line it up with the larger hole to put the screwdriver in at that slot. This isn't the easiest thing to do, but knowing where they should be made it much easier to do. With the screwdriver in the slot, the agitator is free to be turned clockwise to be removed from the washer plate. However, when I tried to do this on camera, I ran into the issue that the agitator housing wants to move with the tub. This makes it really difficult because you have to keep the tub from moving while applying a really good bit of force to the agitator housing to get it out. To solve this, I had a friend help hold the tub and that ended up working out very well to get this out quickly. As you can see now, the screwdriver needs to be inserted deeply into the agitator assembly, so don't worry about it going in too far. With the agitator off, you can either install the new agitator by dropping it on the four plastic tabs and then twisting clockwise, or you can remove the agitator plate itself by using a 7 16 socket wrench. But in the case of my situation, I merely needed to install a new agitator into the washer, which was insanely easy. I aligned the bottom of the agitator to ensure that it fit on the four retention pieces, dropped it in, then snapped it into place. I kept moving the agitator plate and agitator to ensure that it was in securely, then put the dispenser cap on, and that's all there was really to this. However, without knowing that the holes lined up, this would have been a disaster. I hope this video helped you out because without knowing this trick, it would be a nightmare to fix this type of newer assembled GE washer because I haven't seen anyone else try to tackle this yet on YouTube. So I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, make sure to subscribe for other GE washer videos because I will be doing one or two more in the future. 